All right, this is a full moon reading of, let's see, um, the full moon, super moon, uh, buck moon, and Capricorn. Um, it's an interesting moon. It, it deals with a lot of, like, successful things and a lot of truth, a lot of, like, things about temptation and things. So... A lot of stuff going on. Also, you might have trouble with your back and joints and knees, skin, and hair around this time. Because it is a super moon and until the cycle completes and goes on to the next full moon, you're going to have a little bit of issue. You might feel exhausted. You might want to sleep. You might want to do all that stuff as well. So keep that in, in consideration. Also, with this reading... It could have to do with your home or a stranger, as well as uh, symbolization of a crown, willpower, and control. Um, so, you know, that type of thing. Anyway, the first question in this is how can you improve your prosperity at the moment? Um, we have the Queen of Fire. It's an interesting one. It's uh, the time herb, so. Uh, we have rest, a calm state of mind. You are ordinary and stable without a lot of trouble and fights at the moment. Um, spend every day in an honest, secure attitude. If you get stuck in a couple of ruts, take care of yourself. Um, you might also want to go hiking, um, but in, in this, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it will bring good luck if you kind of go out and you kind of are in nature a little bit, okay? Um, I feel like you need to get away from certain things. Um, you might need time to clear your mind. You might need time to yourself. You might need some self-care days. You also might want to talk to a therapist or a doctor about certain issues you may, you may be having. Um, also, there could be some dietary um, issues going on that um, might actually be hurting you more so than helping you. You might need to change your diet a little bit in order to include stuff that could potentially help you so you don't feel listless or you feel weak. Um, Number two, what is restricting your prosperity and wealth around this time? Let's see. We have the chariot. Um, that's the cedar tree. So, um, finally things turn out for the better. A rain of blessings will surely occur. Unfortunate circumstances or occurrences can also be thought of as lessons that will strengthen your character in the long run. Do not be pessimistic. Be optimistic. Um, everything around this time is a lesson. It is not to hurt you. It is not to make you feel bad about yourself. It is not meant to make you feel like you are not a valuable person in society. It's meant to teach you your own strengths and weaknesses, okay? Um, number three, we have the raspberry. So the three of earth, three of pentacles. Um, so, let's see, the source of life, symbol of effort, acceptance. Now is the time to focus on the foundation. Let's see, the basics are important. Do not forget to make an effort. There is no immediate um, effect, but there is a result that will eventually bring a big chance to become very productive. And it might happen just under a certain circumstance of what happens. Um, you could inspire somebody. You could inspire yourself. There could be... A conversation you have with somebody that inspires you to do something but um yeah it, it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to get it off the ground but I think it, it it'll make sense when it makes sense you know what I mean um 
Number four. How can you empower yourself? We have the six of fire. Um, I think it's Nagustrum. Uh, I always say that one wrong. So, yeah, Nagustrum. Let's go for that one. Uh, so we have a challenge to leap, a change develop of human relationships. Your luck will be strengthened as well as all um, progressions going smoothly. Uh, taking a challenge to qualify eliminations of auditions and the recommend recommendation of two. Um, keep a careful action on your mind brightly without wavering. I feel like it's kind of telling you that in order to empower yourself you have to think it in order for it to be v valuable. The power of two instead of one is a very strengthening thing. I forgot what book that came from. The strength of two is better than one. It's multiplying yourself in energy and power by not wavering to somebody else's belief system or following the crowd. Um, so if, if you stand heavy on your goals, your achievements, and who you are as a person and what your beliefs are, people will start to realize that you're not somebody to mess with. You're not wavering. You're not trying to people please. You're, you're like, you know, fuck you. I'm, I'm the captain now, you know, that type of thing and going with that. Um, so we have number five, we have what success do you need to acknowledge? Um, we have the four of fire, the four of wands. Um, it could be a marriage engagement, something like that. Um, I forgot which one this is. The elderberry. Elderberries are, you know, they're out there. They're the fighting force, um, of, of the, of the wizarding world, you could say. Um, so let's see. The elderberry, elder wand, elder stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, the sign of transformation, you will be thanked for taking the leap and for going through a lot of trouble for people. Physical strength and willpower are um, enhanced and current misfortune can be fixed. So... You're going to have to You're going to have to believe in yourself, I think. Um I think a lot of times people kind of put their own beliefs on you and it might be hurting you in a way that people don't realize. Like their problems aren't your problems and you probably internalize a lot of gossip and trouble and drama and all that and you're like a sponge for that no more like you're just like i have my own fucking problems like leave me alone like <laughs> that's that's how you have to be like if you you're doing something and somebody wants you to come over like tell them to tell them to do their own damn thing like I, people get so consumed in like partnering that it they do it with their friends too like you can go to the bathroom on your own it doesn't fucking matter but you don't need like the whole gossip procedure like you need you need to take accountability you don't need to take permission from anybody to be yourself you know that whatever you're you need to stop taking on other people's bs um so number six number six is going to be the ten of swords this is alfalfa so the message from your spirit um to help you succeed so we have good luck will come to you your way if you stay true to yourself. Time will test whether you will be able to control your explosive violent episodes or traumas, dark drama, whatever. You will be able to come up with an idea after idea. Your unique sense of emotions are appealing. 
So you just had to make better choices. You had to make more maybe selfish choices in certain aspects. Um, but I feel like you do kind of internalize a lot of things. Um, and you're allowed to be emotional. Nobody's just, like supposed to be like, oh my gosh, I have no emotion. You're allowed to have emotion. You're, you're allowed to be a person. But you're not allowed to hold everybody's secrets within you. And then people like use use you as like a tattletale or gossiper. There needs to be an outlet for gossip. And that's the problem with certain people. And like people don't understand that. Like if I'm taking on your shit, I might as well tell somebody else's shit. Because you need an outlet for gossip even if it's not yours. Because you need to have an alliance of advice. Like that's that's normal shit. But other people want to demonize you because you ask for advice from people that they don't particularly like. You know, you can't be peacekeeper all the time and you can't be devil's advocate all the time. It's either you fix the problem or that person needs to go to a therapist and fix themselves. You can't be the middle ground for their bullshit. Anyway, there's also a bonus. This is what I internalized as your great and powerful leader of tarot I guess um so the changeable and a bit unstable nature of one's home um could be same-sex parents it could be other dysfunction that people won't normally talk about so this could be you this could be somebody else and this could be kind of taboo subjects that uh, that are being pushed on you and you're just like I don't need this in my life. And it could be a total stranger. It could be a total um, point of dysfunction that you're trying to rebel against. Um, it could be anything. I was watching a few um, criminal uh, true crime things. And... There was this one case that was about um, somebody going absolutely bonko nutso. Went on a Greyhound bus, sat next to this really lovely person. And starts stabbing him and cannibally eating him in the back seat of a Greyhound bus. Now, that was in Canada. If it happened in America, believe you me. Every, every bus in the area would be shut down. But like, in that whole story... There was no remorse for the person um, that was a victim. There, there was no remorse from this person that committed this act. Usually you go through like episodes of psychosis a lot and you think about it and then you're like, you blow it off because you, you don't really want to be in that situation. But in that moment in time, there was no disconnect of reality and like psychosis so even even years later it's been like probably 20 years and the guy who committed that awful crime still can recount the guy's name he did it to who they were as a person if they were friendly to him every point of that day the guy could recount and he even he even knows what frame of mind he was in while doing that. And it really, like, we, we talk about mental illness on this platform a lot. And we talk about mental illness on my channel. But if you're having, like, this weird psychosis thing where, like, you're going through trouble in your own life. And you're trying to solidify your own self. And you keep going through like different scenarios and different prospects of how people see you and how people react to you and what you do as a job and things like that. And you go from a tangible object that you can get any fucking time you want, like pornography or candy or money or drugs or whatever have you. And then you go into the real world and it's not that fucking easy. And people don't understand. It's like it, it's like turning off the enableability of getting internet service to having it as a 
secure private service. So then if you're the one that's on the outside using it as an open service and it finally shuts down on you, you feel cheated and you feel like it's a schizophrenic, you know, need for that. That's the same mentality a lot of people have. Like, if it's free, why do I have to pay for it? You know, and businesses don't work like that. They've never worked like that. And having a case that was so openly discussed like that, where it happened on a crowded Greyhound bus, and then it went into the element of, is he crazy or is he, you know, just going through something? That case itself got so blown out of the proportion, people forgot about the victim in that entire thing because they wanted to overanalyze the situation. And that's a problem with free healthcare. People overanalyze things to want to prescribe shit to people. I don't think, you know, prescriptions should be free per se. I don't think healthcare should be free. For the fact of you always want to find out what's wrong with certain other people to justify their actions. With America, it's kind of like, you know, we, we go through the motions of, well, if they did this, it's probably a premeditated thing because it was so elaborate, it was planned, it was this, it was that. It wasn't just like a random act. Um... Because a lot of people have control issues. I feel like a lot of people that have control issues, they act erratically when something doesn't work out for them or if they're denied something or if they're not 100% sure of themselves. Um, but, yeah, my over -analyzation. But I feel like you might be going through the same type of thing where you can't control other people's actions and sometimes you can't even control yours. And the prospect of a much smaller scale of, you know, just selfishness, you know, and it's all right to be selfish. You have to do self-care and you have to actually find out who you are as a person and that shouldn't be selfish. It should be a, div a divisible that's you at home, which would be shadow work, and you in the public eye, that would be light work. Light work is how you perceive yourself towards other people or how you interact with other people. Um, you yourself in your shadow work of, you know, at home, it's entirely different. Maybe you're more pleasant, maybe you're quieter, maybe you're going through some things. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a different thing. People don't really know the real you because you can turn on and off certain aspects of your personality under certain circumstances or if, if you feel shy or you're unsure of a situation. It's a social construct, you know, of how to, um, adapt to a situation. So anyway, Taurus, hopefully you're going, um, in the right direction with everything, but I feel like it's, it's a turning point for you and how you want to feel in the near future. So enjoy the full moon while it lasts because it is gra grandiose. It's, it's a super moon. So um, yeah, that's something. And also, make sure you do something nice for yourself. I feel like a lot of times we forget about ourselves. We're dealing with other people and we're trying to make other people happy. You need to do something nice for yourself. Even if it's 15 minutes, just to sit and just take it all in. You know, you have to do that every once in a while, alright? Anyway... Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, and I do hope everything works out. I know you're going through a lot right now, and it could be very confusing, but I think you need to find a medium, okay? Anyway, I'll see you later, okay? Bye now.